They're a giant of the Americas. No team has won the CONCACAF Champions League more times than Mexico's Cruz Azul. And now two former Mexico captains are plotting their return to the big time. I really identify with the ideas and the values of this club. I became captain in 2008, so I've had responsibility for a long time. And I've tried to fly the flag for this club as high as possible, both on and off the pitch. It's a huge honor, and I'm very thankful for the opportunity I've been given to play in Mexico. I'm very happy that I was appointed to manage such a big club. It's so important and such a big challenge. You have to achieve every target given to you. The club's main priority is to win titles, so anything less is unacceptable. In this organization, we look at the championship as the first objective. So, any other thing is that it doesn't have any value. Thomas Boy captained the Mexico team that reached the quarterfinals of the World Cup as hosts in 1986. It was wonderful. I was 34 years old, and it was a long journey, but it was an honor to represent Mexico in our best ever performance. When I was able to play at my best, but I didn't score any goals. My best story is when we went out onto the pitch and lined up for the Mexican national anthem, and the music didn't work. So we sang a cappella, and the entire stadium joined in. It's a fantastic memory. He was an important player for the national team. He was a player of quality that made a difference to the teams he played for. He was a player with a strong character because, as a person, he has a very strong personality. So we're happy to have him and we work together at Cruz Azul in the hope that we can lead the club to many titles. After a spell playing in Spain, this is Gerardo Torado's 11th year with Cruz Azul. After three World Cups, he's Mexico's third most capped player. I'm very privileged. I feel very fortunate to have gone to three World Cups. I experienced each one of them in a different way. I think the first one was when I performed the best. It was when I scored a goal against Ecuador. The second one was in Germany. I played in every game. And in 2010, I knew it could be my last World Cup. I'm proud of being able to wear La Verde so many times, or as we call it, El Tri. It's not easy. It's not easy to do it for so many years and to be called up continuously. You sacrifice many things, holidays and family time, but it's worth it. They're unforgettable moments, and I'll remember them fondly when I retire from football. He's a veteran, but he's been one of the sport's great leaders due to his effort and the path his career has taken. He's brought lots of joy to the club. I'm thrilled to have him here. He's a very professional guy who looks after his body. His spirit and way of working is a great reflection on this club. Cruz Azul have struggled for domestic success in recent years. Their target is simple, to match the club's golden era of the 1970s. It's a big challenge, but as a manager, I'm aware that you can't do it without players. The most important thing is your players, and if we manage to build a strong team, we can achieve success. I think we've played in five finals, and we haven't won any of them. If we'd won them, this would have been the club's golden era, because we're a team that's thirsty to be champions. The day we manage to do it, I'm sure we'll go on to win several titles. I want to win the championship, and win all the titles we can.